In a statement this week, TikTok announced a new time limit for their crazy popular video sharing app. The new 10 minute cap on video length, get this, is 40 times longer than their initial video limit link, which was, Steve, do you remember how long it was? 15 seconds. 15 times 40 is 10 minutes. So. That's it. 15 seconds. Uh, TikTok, for their part, says it hopes that this will unleash more creativity among their community of creators. But really, I'm just wondering why they did it and how it will affect us business owners using the platform in our marketing. What do you think, Steve, about this new TikTok time limit? Well, I mean, as far as like how it will affect businesses and uh, creators and people like that on the creator side, I think that any time you build an app that is desirable for people to watch for entertainment or be on, it's great for businesses. Gary Vee is famous for saying uh, that marketers ruin everything. And because, you know, the, the email email came about and it wasn't too long until people figured out how to collect email lists and send mass email. And then uh, and telephones were the same way. People found how to do uh, telemarketers and things like that. Then you move into uh, SMS marketing. You move into social media. Now, now businesses, you know, 25 years ago, businesses never even had social media teams or anything. And now that's a large part of a lot of people's marketing budget. So I think that any time that someone is willing or able to create a platform where a lot of people are hanging out, it's a great thing. So the mm. hope for all businesses and all creators is if you, I guess if you're on TikTok, <laughs> is they hope that, or I hope as we're on TikTok, I hope that they continue to innovate the platform in a way that continues to push and push and push more people to be on it. Mm. And I think it's a good, Point. You said if you're on TikTok, you know, I think that uh, maybe to some people this news doesn't matter because they're not on TikTok. Their business isn't on TikTok or anything like that. And of course, I think you probably get this question. I, I've heard you talk about it. I know I get this question a lot. Every business wants to know, should I be on TikTok? And I, what maybe we could just say the blanket statement here is if you have a group of people you're trying to reach who are hanging out on TikTok, then it's a place you could be. Uh, really only you can decide should you be on TikTok or not. But um, like anything, it's it's a, a place where people hang out. And if they're your people, yeah, go after them. Go get some of them. If not, stay off of it. <laughs> well, how, how do you use it, The Steve? thing is, I, mean, is I, I know, think but... if, if... – Well, I mean, the original point you said is if your audience is on TikTok, and I think that – for any business, no matter what it is, um, think about, I mean, go even go all the way back to newspapers. When newspapers first came out, it was probably a young person that was reading newspapers. And what happens is, is young people start reading it and then their parents start reading it and it ages up. And then the grandparents want to know what the the grandkids and the parents are talking about. So they start reading it, um, go into TV. It's the exact same thing. Um, you know, go to even you think about Facebook. It started as a college app and then parents started getting on it. And now you see, I, I see more grandparents interacting on Facebook now than I see young people in college. Um, so every, every new platform will start with a younger audience age up to parents and people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, then it goes to grandparents. I don't, I don't think it's going to be long till we're going to see grandparents on it. So first first thing to address that is if your audience is on it, I think it's foolish to say my audience is not on it because they might not be on it. I, I, I agree with that. They might not be – everyone's audience might not be on it right now. Mm. But there's also a land grab opportunity when there's a new platform of anything. You see this with TV. You see it with uh, any social media app. When a social media app is first created, what happens is is there is first the people with the eyeballs go watching it. But there's not enough videos, there's not enough posts, there's not enough anything for people to consume. So what those social media apps have to do is they have to show more. It's a supply and demand issue. They have to show more videos to the audience than they do um, than, than they do the audience than the reverse. Now Facebook has a problem where all of these I mean, think about the people that are on Facebook now. Uh, Walmart, Sam's, BMW, Chevy, every Nike. I mean, these people are putting out 
they're spending millions of dollars either advertising or creating for Facebook. Well, now people are flooding away from Facebook, so there's not that many people looking at it. So you've got all these people posting on it and nobody's looking at it. So there's a land grab opportunity at the beginning of this uh, TikTok, and I've seen it. You know, you've seen it with our business as you do our marketing. Um, there's an incredible amount of people wanting to watch videos, and there's not that many people creating for it. So right now is a, a golden opportunity. And I, you asked me a question, and I totally forgot. I just ranted. Oh no, that's great. I was just going to say, um, I think my question was for, for, you know, family business owners who are listening, how do you in your family business use TikTok? If you could just sum it up in a few words as you think about, yeah, this is, this is what we do on the platform. Well, I think people are smart. And by saying that, I mean this, I don't think you have to say, Hey, I sell this, my favorite word, tchotchka. I think you can say, I think you can do content around whatever your business is involved in. So if you're a restaurant, you can make it about entertainment. It, you can make it about how you cook a certain food. You can make it about anything funny, but it's in your restaurant. And I think people can connect those dots. So how we use it is um, our family's business is in the horse feed industry. Um, we sell feed supplements, hay, bedding, stuff like that for horses. So we make content around uh, nutrition advice, um, funny, funny inside jokes with horse owners and things like that. Anything that a horse owner would want to see, we try to sprinkle in as much valuable entertainment or um, advice or anything like that. So, but I think people connect the dots in um, you can see that by seeing how fast the link on our page has exploded. It's the number one driver to our website now, our homepage um, on our TikTok. That's wild. And I love it. I, I, and I love what you said there, anything that your audience wants to see. And, and really when we're talking about this platform and let's go all the way back, like Steve, you mentioned television and radio and, and newspapers. This is really a question of eyes on. Time um, eyes on, right? And that's, I think, why TikTok did this 10-minute limit increase. Because we're, we're still less than a year after they did a five-minute uh, cap on their videos. Up from three minutes, up from one minute, up from 30 seconds and 15 uh, seconds. And, and the question always is, okay, great. People are willing to watch for 15. Are they willing to watch for 30? Are they willing to watch mm -hmm. for 60? Are they willing to watch for three minutes, five minutes, and now 10 minutes? And the question as a platform is... If people can keep their eyes on our platform, we can sell ad space and make buku cash because we have eyes on. And that's what every, I mean, you're right, Gary Vee's right, marketers ruin platforms because every platform that has ever existed in society has been leveraged for business at some point in a, in a cash for eyes or cash for attention play. And so as a, a business um, on TikTok, if you're a family business and you're asking yourself, should I be on this platform? You're right, Steve. The one thing they need to recognize and realize is that right now it's in both your favor and TikTok's favor to keep people looking at that app. And so when you can align your content with TikTok's algorithm and their behind the scenes marketing that, that keeps people there longer, you now have more eyes on. Eventually, just like everything else, it will become very competitive, very expensive, but you're right. You're in this early stage of land grab, which is really attention grab. And anytime a platform's interests are aligned with your interests, you can leverage that. That's, yeah, people, that's why I think they of, did it. There's a lot of people that, you know, get mad at the algorithm and things like that. And it's not, it's not a mystery. It's not some like, in TikToks, still a Chinese guy watching, you know, behind the, a, a dark room in a computer saying like, ah, I'm going to sabotage this person. It, the algorithm is simple. Any platform, any social media platform wants to keep people on their app for as long as possible. So if yeah. your content is entertaining to people or it makes people's eyeballs watch your stuff longer or share your stuff or it it generates a lot of comments or it generates a lot of shares or likes or anything whatever the target um you know reaction is from whatever platform then the algorithm is going to say hey more people watch this because they see that it's it's entertaining to people and it's keeping people on the platform longer yeah it's total snowball effect 
um, which is okay. So this is kind of our second major point today. Does an expanded 10 minute time limit help or hurt creators and business owners who are using TikTok in their marketing efforts? Uh, I think that I, I'll put it this way. Stevie, tell me what you think. I think that an increased time limit just gives us more room to screw up. <laughs> That's my personal uh, opinion, but in a nutshell, what do you think? I'm interested to know. Do you think it'll help or hurt? What are your thoughts? I think that, um, I think it'll be great. I think that there is a, it can only help because it's just giving you another option. They're not saying you have to create for longer than seven yeah. minutes now or anything like that. Um, so if the spirit moves you to create longer videos, at least you have that option now. Um, you know, I was thinking like, man, okay, what would, what would they add from a three minute video to a 10 minute? Um, you know, there's a ton of, so my mind first went to YouTube, right? I mean, they're, they're mm. the king of long content form video. And uh, my initial thoughts were documentaries. There's a lot of people that make documentaries just for YouTube and things like that. Um, you can do a serious documentary on somebody in 10 minutes. Um, totally. there's cooking, cooking videos and things like that. A lot of explanation, instructional videos. I think about car repairs. That's huge on YouTube. Um, you can do car repair videos and things like that, D fixing different things on your vehicles or equipment. YouTube is huge for that. Um, and TikTok's already got a really good search, uh, functionality where you can find what you're looking for. They've got a very good, easy way to find the sounds you're looking for. They've got an easy way to find the topic that you're looking for, things like that. So man, I think it's, it's great for creators. Um, TikTok has been very creator first mentality. And I think that the 10 minute deal will open you up to a whole new world of options. Sure. And, and kind of hearkening back to our episode title, Will TikTok's New Time Limit Kill Instagram? It's pretty obvious that TikTok's aggressively going after both Instagram and YouTube. Instagram, a little bit on the creator side, like we mentioned, we talked about together, Steve, is it, TikTok has built its app for creators to create. And Instagram has not. And it's very frustrating and very difficult to use. And if you're a creator on TikTok, and like you said, you wanna do some kind of how-to instructional or long form entertainment, you can easily be found for, for that. And, and then, so I think that's where TikTok is setting its new sites on. How can we build in in-video ads the way YouTube has built in in-video ads? How can we build in this expectation of a platform where people can be educated, informed, entertained uh, in long form and, and, and have just as much search functionality as YouTube? And you know, it's wild. YouTube is the second most used search engine after Google uh, on the planet because people are there asking questions. How do I repair my car? How do I, you know, care for my horse? How do I market my small business? Um, they're, they're asking questions. They're searching for information. And if TikTok's going to play in the long form game and their search is, is as good as YouTube, uh, they're a real competitor there. And, and to your point, I think earlier I said, I think the long form gives us more opportunity to screw up. I, I totally think that's true because I promise you, if you make a 10 minute video that is boring, you will get fewer views than if you made a 15 second video that is even mildly entertaining. People will watch something for 15 seconds and it only has to be like this great. But if it's going to be 10 minutes long, it has to be enthralling. And so the, the opposite of what I said is true. Of course, it also means we have way more chance to build trust, show our expertise as business owners, deliver value, build a relationship with people. And I love that you're approaching it, uh, Steve, and, and from the long form side down to TikTok. So if you're a business owner asking yourself, should I be on TikTok? Can I make a 10 minute TikTok video? Take something that you would have approached as a YouTube video, as a, maybe even a television show, a, a segment on a local radio station and pull it down to a 10 minute spot on TikTok. That will help you, I think, reframe the 15 second bottom up TikTok platform as you've seen it grow. Now you're really saying, what could I put on this that normally I would have done for 20 minutes on a local TV station, local radio station, or, you know, YouTube video, I'm going to put it on TikTok and I'm going to 
slice it down to 10 minutes, that makes it even better. Uh, rather than thinking, how can I take this dance video concept and expand it to 10 minutes? No, that's the wrong direction. Pull it, pull it back from something that was long form. Man, I think at the beginning of that, um, that thought there, you said regarding TikTok killing Instagram, you said is TikTok or TikTok is aggressively going after Instagram and YouTube. And I think the reverse is true. I think YouTube and Instagram are aggressively going after TikTok, but I think one of the reasons why TikTok is destroying Instagram and YouTube in growth, of course, I don't, they might've passed Instagram already. I can't remember, but in daily users, but I think one of the reasons why TikTok is destroying them in growth is because they could not care less about what Instagram and YouTube are doing. They're trying to do the opposite of what they're doing. Here's some examples. TikTok created was created off of something that no one was even doing, 15-second videos. And 15-second videos, and really they were musically before, and it was 15-second videos, and you just, you know, lip sync or karaoke or whatever sounds. And that was something that no one was doing. Then they could turn that into something a little bit different. Then they turn that into these different filters and different things you could do. And in, on the back of that, Instagram copied them. And then you saw on the back of that, YouTube copied them with shorts. And then now TikTok is TikTok has done basically everything different. The other thing that they've done that I think is incredibly unique in when you look at all of these different social media platforms is Facebook. Well, I guess it would first start with YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram all had this deep seated mentality of if we build a platform where there is a lot of people there, then the creators will show up. And Mm -hmm. so what I mean is, is they knew what we said earlier that marketers will ruin everything. We know if we create this deal that, the ad revenue will show up. We know that the people will show up, you know, that there will be people creating on this eventually. So they just created a audience first platform. TikTok is very unique. They seem like they create, they have created a platform that they're almost wanting to put the creators up on a pedestal way more than any platform has ever done with their creator fund. And where they're they're paying people for the amount of views that they get, no one else was doing that. I mean, YouTube was kind of doing that, but it was only when you had certain amount of ads that were running in your content. Right. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't just for creating a cool piece of content. Um, yeah. And and Facebook and Instagram had nothing to do with that. Now, of course, Instagram is copying them on that model, and they're working on a creator model. So I think that TikTok is doing everything opposite of Instagram and YouTube, and that's why it's winning. That's a there's a deeper deeper uh, thing to learn there with businesses that you don't copy other businesses. You should just do your own thing, and and it'll work out. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. And I loved your, your examples there. They're blazing a trail and uh, and everyone's scrambling to keep up. Yep. So I think that my, my closing thought would be, again, back to just worried about too much time and not, and, and, uh, not really us being disciplined in, in creating content. But I'd love to know what are your closing thoughts, Steve? I mean, you seem, I know you've had great success on TikTok. I know that it's a very much a creator first platform in your eyes. Do you think that, that TikTok is, uh, is headed to the top and going to stay there for a little while? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, and that's what a lot of people are worried about when they learn how to create a, or how to advertise on a social media platform. I would say, is is TikTok going to kill Instagram or is TikTok going to kill YouTube? Are they going to take over Facebook? I have no idea, but here's the deal. There's a ton of eyeballs on it right now. And that's all, you know, yeah. figure it out and, and take it for as long as you can. Um, that's, that's kind of been my mentality is um, I don't know how long it'll be around. And I don't know if this will be something that, you know, we, we blink and it's been four years and that's just a part of every small business's marketing team is, is creating for TikTok. But um, whether it lasts six more months or, or 14 more years, I, I don't care as long as the eyeballs are there. And I've always felt that way with, with any platform that I'm on, 
that whether it's email or text or whatever, um, you know, if it is a good way to sell, if the amount of time that you put into it, creating for it, uh, the amount of time that you're able to spend uh, communicating with people, if it is a good driver for your business and if a lot of people are there and you can create for it at a expense level that it makes sense for your business to uh, ca- to capitalize on the back end through selling products or a service or whatever it might be, I think you should put your time and effort into it. it and, and I can assure you the eyeballs are there right now if, you, if you're good on video or you can figure out some way to make a video. And I think video is, uh, video is where it's at. If you're not creating video, uh, you're struggling to market right now. And that is a, a, a hallmark of what TikTok is. You can't post a photo. You can't just type words, you know, um, you have to show up, uh, either your face or some pa- faces you've paid or, uh, you know, um, talked into being on camera have to be there to represent your business. And, and I think time limits, you know, 10 minutes all the way down to 15 seconds. The advice is still true. It, the eyes are there. It's your job to hold on to them and the algorithm, the platform re- will reward you for making those efforts because it's in their interest as well. So ask yourself, what are your people wondering about your business? What are your people wanting to, uh, you know, engage in? What will they watch? What will they consume that you are the expert in, that you can entertain them in, that you can uh, show up and build a relationship? And in the end, I think keep it short and keep it sweet. Um, and if you have to keep it 10 minutes, then keep it sweet the whole 10 minutes. Yeah. People will watch. I mean, I, I think the time limit doesn't even, I think it's irrelevant. Um, if it's a good, you, you mentioned this earlier in, in different words that if it's entertaining and if it's, um, something that people want to watch, whether it's educational, entertaining, whatever it is, if it's good content, whether it's 15 seconds or 10 minutes or six hours, you know, there's, there's very popular movies that are very long marathon movies. Um, yeah. whatever it is, I think if it's good content, it doesn't really matter the time limit. Um, but it's better for the apps, of course, like we, <laughs> like you mentioned. Absolutely. So, uh, big news out of TikTok this week. And if, if your business is looking to, uh, easily and cheaply, uh, rent out some eyes for your content, TikTok's where you need to be. Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. If you have any questions, you can get with Chris Fox from Fox strategy, and he will work out your TikTok plan for you. Shameless plug, uh, from Chris's favorite customer. Although he won't admit it to anyone else. Uh, Thank you for listening to everybody. (laughs) Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast.